Greetings, unsettled souls! For those of you watching all of them, of course you are, right? And we are th now entering three-fifths of the way through the Delta Cap of the Month award show, trying to figure out who the dumbest person is going to be that I've heard about this month. Now, this one almost was, almost won. It's just that I don't want to get in the habit of sending dunce caps to other countries because that can be a bit expensive. Although in this case, I really, really, really did think about it. But trust me, the winner is even better. But yeah, and let me just remind people because a lot of people listening to this may, may not fully understand who the Taliban are and what they've done. And I say that because... They've probably heard about them in textbooks. Well, textbooks aren't really going to spell out some of the rather uncomfortable facts which I am about to spell out here. So let me warn you that if you're squeamish or if you don't like uh, very graphic descriptions of things which aren't pleasant, you might want to get a heads up on this particular show today. Uh, the Taliban, and trust me, this does get to quite a dummy, believe me. Um, the Taliban have been known to set people on fire. They have been known to beat women in the street. They can be killed for being seen in public with people who are not their relatives, particularly if they are male. The idea that you would even remove your Grim Reaper robe long enough to enjoy your food in a restaurant could get you divorced, killed, raped, beaten, or God only knows what else. Under the Taliban, women are not allowed to learn, not allowed to have a profession. Not allowed to pretty much do anything but be baby makers. And with those facts in mind, let us look here from InfoWars. Canada's woman and gender equality minister calls Taliban militants brothers. Brothers! I'm a brother from another mother with people that rape women and beat them in the street. Equality! Sig Heil. I don't know what he said. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, Mariam Monsef. What a surprise there, hmm? Canada's Minister for Women. Imagine putting him. We're going to say it that way. Putting him. No particular reason, of course. Just him. In charge, even before this, just based on, no, oh, for no reason, of course, him. Putting him in charge of equality. It would be like putting Joseph Mingula in charge of the pediatric ward. Maria Monsef, Canada's Minister for Women and Gender Equality, can't forget that, has referred to the Taliban as our brothers during a TV interview while updating people about the country's evacuation efforts in Afghanistan. Oh, nice. So inclusive. I want to take this opportunity to thank our brothers, the Taliban. Oh, thank you, brothers. You guys are awesome. We can call on you to ensure the safety and secure passage of any individual in Afghanistan out of their country. Wow, look at that. I'm, I'm sure, absolutely, why, why sure? Monsef said as he urged the militant organization to stop killing people and damaging infrastructure. Now, some people might give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he was trying to be nice, as if, you know, they're listening and we're like, well, you know, we were going, oh, we were going, oh, we were going to be beating people in the street, but all we have decided not to now that we have heard him. He has made us change our mind. What the? Yeah, that was poor. That was more Indian than Arabic. Yeah, I tried. Um... First of all, he said that he trusts them. And then it goes on to say, as the organization had already been killing people and damaging infrastructure, that means burning down uh, people's churches and destroying bridges, hanging people from bridges, God only knows what else, 
Baffled by her remark about the Taliban, the TV show host asked the minister to clarify her statement. Months have said that the brother's reference to the radical Islamist group was cultural. Oh, well, that explains a lot. I mean, what if what if somebody said, yeah, I, oh, I called the, I called the KKK brothers, but that was cultural. I mean, I, I didn't mean I actually liked them. Why? No, no, not at all. You know, it, it's like saying, uh, well, well, Beyonce supported Black Lives Matter, the culture. Never mind the fact that they're in the street beating people to death. No, 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 no it's fine. The Taliban are a terrorist group, yet they claim to be Muslims. They are terrorists taking over my beloved ancestral land. In terms of terminology, if you go to um, Mujahs, across the country, Muslims are referred to one another as brothers and sisters. So, you know, obviously, it's very, very hard to get kicked out of the family in Islam. Well, that is, of course, unless you're a woman. Or a woman that wants to read a book. Or a woman that wants to be a nurse. Or a woman that wants to leave the house. Or a woman who wants to cross the street without a man. Or a woman who wants to talk to a man. Or, oh, never mind. Otherwise, they're really inclusive. Brothers and sisters. <laughs>